What's going on guys? We are back for another video and today we're talking about apps for creating print on demand design. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ben and on this channel I talk about building e-commerce businesses, print on demand businesses, and just in general making money online. So today we're talking about five apps that I use for creating print on demand designs. And no, you do not need to be a designer to use any of these. They're very user friendly and they do work. I've sold tons and tons of designs that are professional looking, but very easy to create and it's very easy to do this. So this is great what, no matter where you are on your journey with print on demand or e-commerce. But as always, I will put links to all these down below in the description. So let's go ahead and hop right in. All right, guys, we are here and the first app is Merch Informer. So I use Merch Informer a lot for my research process for Merch by Amazon. And so it's really easy for me to just continue from research to design within the same uh, platform. And that's why I like to normally use Merch Informer if I'm doing something pretty basic. So this is a paid membership, but uh, they do also have different tiers and options and a free package as well. But once you have an account with them, all you need to do is come over here to the Merch Designer widget open this up and then you're gonna get to choose from the product options, the product templates here. Now, depending what platform you're selling on, obviously you have to have different size and format options, but assuming you're selling on something like Merch by Amazon, you know, we know that t-shirts have to be 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. And so we can select this t-shirt here. And the nice thing is when I download this file, it's already gonna be pre-formatted for Merch by Amazon. Now. The general kind of rule of thumb that I have is most of my designs look better and sell better on dark colored products. So I normally try to create designs for, uh, you know, a black or a navy or an asphalt. And we can change the product's color here if we want, just to kind of gauge what it's gonna look like when we upload it to Merch by Amazon. But I'm just gonna show you guys a very quick example uh, for the sake of length of this video. Um, so the other nice thing about Merch Informer is we can pull in clip art here and just drag and drop it pretty much on here. And this is uh, something that we're able to use and sell. So we uh, can just use this commercially and sell it right away. So it's very, very easy. Again, I'm not a designer, uh, but very quickly here, I can go ahead and create some kind of basic design. So let me just find this text really quick. And I'm just gonna do a very common design that we see all the time. Uh, just mama bear. And again, remember if you guys are spending a little bit more time on this than I am, you're probably gonna have some good results. I'm going quick for this video. So uh, bear with me if my designs are not amazing by any standard. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Mama bear, there we go. And then obviously we can drag this, we can move it around. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit higher. And just like that, we have something that's decent. And this is how I got my start with print on demand designs is I would just find, you know, little trends or little sayings. And then I would try to find a way to make a very quick design. And a lot of my best selling designs are just text or text with a very simple clip art or something like that. But just to show you guys a few other features, obviously we can choose all these different texts. We can kind of do these different effects on the text. Um, you can upload your own images and clip art. There's a bunch of shapes that are already preloaded in here. Um, you can do different layers. You can add distressed effects to your images if you wanted to. Uh, I don't normally use the distress too much, but if you want to make you know any kind of subtle changes, uh, we can even do masks in here, which is something I've used quite a bit in my early days. So once we're done with this image, we can literally just go ahead and download this. And then this file is already formatted for t-shirts on Merch by Amazon. Uh, and normally, you know, with Redbubble and a lot of these other apps, this design file is something I can use on those as well. So I just need to drag drop this and upload it and we're off to the races. So that is my first app, Merch Informer. Let's move on to the second one. All right, guys, app number two is Canva. Canva is a powerhouse. It's simple, it's drag and drop. It's so easy to use. You guys can see I use it for a lot of my YouTube thumbnails, my blog post thumbnails. Uh, I use it for design work, all kinds of different stuff. So just a quick example. Uh, this is also super, super beginner friendly for people like me who cannot really design very well. So uh, just to show you an example, if you have your own artwork or you know anything else that you've kind of brought, brought to the table, you can easily upload that in here. So this design we just made in Merch Informer, I can drag, drop, upload it. And the nice thing too I'll mention going back to Merch Informer is that all the files download as PNGs, transparent background, which makes it really easy on us. But uh, you know, obviously you can kind of bring elements into the t into Canva, into their platform. But if you don't have stuff, the nice thing is that there's tons of icons that you can use. So 
Um, one that I really like that I've been kind of playing around with is this one, which I found for this example here. So I'm just gonna blow this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna show you guys, again, how simple this is to use a quick example. But if we were to search for something like bear, there's tons of free elements in here. You can see some of them do have this little crown that you would have to pay for these. Uh, and I will say, I always encourage you to still check out kind of the commercial, commercial usage rights just to make sure you can sell designs. Um, you know, that's just a good kind of common sense practice no matter where you're making designs, et cetera. But, so we found this element right here. We're just gonna throw up some text really quick. And you guys can see there's tons of different formats that we can use. Uh, for when it comes to text and everything like that, but let's go ahead and blow this bad boy up We'll center it and then we can scroll through and just find something that looks good. There's tons and tons of different fonts uh, I've already found one that I like right here And then the th other thing that they've added fairly recently is kind of these different effects that we can easily add So I find that this one has matched uh, is matching to this design really really well uh, so easily, just like that, I have found something that works pretty dang well. I'm going to copy this, paste it down here just to get all the formatting right. And boom, just like that, we can probably download this. We might be able to get some sales on this design. I guarantee if you guys spend five to 10 more minutes actually, you know, creating something that looks better than what I'm doing, you're definitely going to find a way to create something that will sell. You know, there's lots of options when it comes to colors, different effects that we can add to all this stuff. Uh, but when it comes to the basics, Canva is so, so easy to use. So you can see there's a lot of pre-formatted ways we can, um, you know, add in text, et cetera. Um, we can also change out the background color here. So if we wanted to see what the background looks like, there's a lot of stuff we can do in here. Once we're done, we just need to download this. Um, now, I will tell you guys, if you don't have a Canva Pro account, it won't allow you to download the transparent PNG. Uh, so you can see here that this is a paid uh, feature. Uh, so I don't pay for Canva. So I will normally take my design, download it, and then I will go take the background off in Photoshop or something else like that. Um, so I'll download this just to have it. But uh, one other thing I wanna show you guys, kind of a caveat here is if you guys don't see any you know, elements in here that you want to use, uh, another great option is to go and get an element from somewhere else and then bring it into the Canva platform or whatever other design platform you're using. So one of my favorite places to do this is Vexels. Um, so for example, they have tons and tons of different stuff in here. They have PNGs, they have different patterns. They already have pre-made t-shirt designs. Um, and so I've been using this platform a lot over just the last couple of months to kind of find stuff. So maybe I didn't like anything I saw in um, Canva. I would come over to Vexels and say, okay, maybe I want this one or this, or maybe I'm going for the cuter style, whatever it is. But um, I'd go through here and kind of look through some of the designs. So once I found something in here, same deal, I would download it and then bring it over to uh, Canva. And that is kind of one of my hacks. It's not, I don't even know if you would call it a hack, but I can download the PNG file here. Let's just go ahead and get the 1024. Bum, bum, bum. So it's gonna take a second to download, and then we can go ahead and upload this. Gotta move myself really quick. And so now I have this element that I've brought from the outside. Obviously this is a little bit mean looking for a, a mama bear here, but uh, maybe that's what you want to do. So again, it's very easy. You can kind of get really creative with Canva and just use it however you want. One other resource I wanted to show you guys that I actually learned about from Detour Shirts is this um, cool uh, program here, Colors or Coolers. Um, so you, I'll put a link to it down below in the description, but just look it up. And the nice thing here is that we can get color patterns that uh, work all within the same palette. So if I have an example or an idea of a color that I want to use, so for example, let me grab my hex code over here. So maybe I want to change out some of the um, colors. I would put maybe one or two colors I want to use, lock them in, and then I can just hit the space bar and generate color patterns that can go along with this uh, or palettes that kind of go in the same realm. Um, so these, for example, I could copy this hex code. Actually, that one's a little bit light. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, and then I can come back over to Canva and maybe I want to change this color right here. I can paste that in. Uh, this one is an element outside, so I'd have to change it elsewhere, but uh, whatever it is. So just like this, I can kind of manipulate some of the colors, which is really nice. So I can create 
you know, decent looking designs pretty quickly here. Um, so those are two kind of side tools that I'll also use, vexels to kind of get additional elements and then uh, coolers or colors, however they're, they're pronouncing it, uh, to kind of figure out different color palettes or color schemes that I can use. So that is uh, my second app, Canva, that I use all the time for designs. So let's get into the third one. All right, guys, my third favorite app to use is Photoshop. There is a free online version that's kind of similar called Photopea. I'll put a link to down below as well because obviously Photoshop is paid, but it's very robust. There's a lot you can do with it, and I am by no means a Photoshop expert, but just to show you guys a quick example I did in five minutes, I just took that design we created in Canva, downloaded it, put it in Photoshop, and just added some color to it. I think it's a nice touch to just add color where possible uh, without going you know, over maybe four different color options here. So I've just added a few colors. Now this is a little bit differentiated. It stands out maybe a little bit more. Uh, I'm sure if you guys spend a little bit more time in Photoshop, you can do a lot more of this, but I just wanted to show you guys my process is normally that I'll maybe make something in Canva or Merchant Informer, and then I'll bring it down into Photoshop and make some tweaks. So next we're going to get into two mobile apps I use. If you guys uh, get inspiration while you're out and about, uh, this is an easy way to just create designs on the go. And again, something that I did when I was just getting started. All right guys, so next up is if you want to design on the go. Now, a lot of people maybe don't have a laptop or a computer to use, but they do have their mobile phone. Or if you're just out and about and think of a trend or some kind of phrase that you wanna use, I do this a lot where I'll just see a trend or a, a phrase while I'm out and I wanna just throw up a quick t-shirt design. So what I'll do is open up the Word Swag app. So I'm here on my phone, I'm just gonna open this up and all we need to do is choose the free photos and actually select a transparent background. And then we just double tap to actually put in the text that we want to say. So let's just do something simple like let's talk about it, hit done. And then we just need to choose the font or the style that we actually want to use. So uh, you guys can see here, I'm just kind of choosing different ones. We can hit this little dice button and it'll randomize uh, how it actually displays. You can also choose these little buttons down here at the bottom. And that's also going to change how it actually formats it as well. So normally what I'll do is just kind of play around with this. Um, and you guys would be surprised at how well just very, very simple uh, text-based designs sell. A lot of my designs that sell now are still just very text-based. Um, so maybe I found something like this and I think, okay, you know what, this is decent. I save this to my camera roll, send it over to my laptop, then maybe I'll open it up in Canva or Photoshop or Merch Informer, add a taco graphic on here and call it a day. So that's how easy it can be. And obviously this is somewhat professional looking. Someone would probably buy this if you have the right phrase and you have the right keywords, etc. So that is it. That's my fourth one, Word Swag. I'm gonna show you guys one more in one sec. All right, guys, the fifth and final one is another mobile app, very similar to Word Swag, and that is Typorama. So if I hop over to my mobile here, uh, I'm just gonna open up a size that I want to design on, and we double tap, and again, you guys can see I can just choose some kind of random quote if I want. Um, so we'll just go ahead with this, uh, and again, kind of similar. We can change up the sizing, where it's positioned. Um, the nice thing about that I like about um, Typorama, obviously we can pay for some of these additional ones, uh, but is that we can also change a lot of uh, other things like the color, um, The here, let me change up the style really quick just so it's more legible, but we can change up the um, color, we can change up the opacity or opacity, um, which is super nice. We can change the gradient, uh, we can do shadows. So it just has a little bit more functionality if it's something that I couldn't get done in Word Swag. So again, we can play around with this, uh, obviously until we get something that we really like. And then once we do, once we're done, we just go ahead and export this over to our computer, maybe make some other tweaks or just go ahead and upload, the, upload this design. So that's how easy it is. Uh, to create designs if they're just text-based. It's very, very simple. So with all of that being said, guys, I hope you liked this video. Those are just five apps that I use for my design. Uh, obviously, this was not a design tutorial video, but if you guys want to see more on how I'm actually creating designs or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I can make a separate video on that. So that's it for this one, and we will see you guys in the next video.